Five years ago, Nyamninya Primary School was like most impoverished schools in rural Africa. But through the Millennium Villages project and the commitment of teachers and parents, Nyamninya Primary has become one of the most successful schools in the region. What is more, the community is now sustaining the school's progress independently of the project. 13-year-old Duncan Odhiambo and his friends are part of a new group of happy, confident kids who love going to school and are getting good grades. I would like to go to secondary school and go to university, then become an engineer. This is a story of what is possible. Nyaminya Primary School is located in Sauri Millennium Village in Western Kenya. Until recently, the area was characterized by chronic poverty. People relied on subsistence farming and as a result, food was often scarce. In 2005, the Millennium Villages project stepped in to work with the people of Sauri to help them lift themselves out of poverty. The project introduced better farming techniques, which boosted harvest and incomes, and improved the community's capacity to maintain progress in areas like health and infrastructure. Progress in education has been impressive, particularly thanks to the school feeding program. If you look at the children, they are happy and they want to be in school because there is something in school. The teachers are ready to teach them well. And apart from the teachers teaching them well, there is food. That one keeps the child in school. They are lively. Even if you go to class in the afternoon, they will talk to you so well because they are happy to be in school. They have eaten. The Millennium Villages Project Education Program empowers community members to support local schools, which has drastically improved pupils' performance in all Sauri's 33 schools. As a first step, the project initiated the school feeding program. Schools were provided with food, kitchen facilities, and fuel-efficient ovens. 89 rocket cook stoves were provided. In 2007, parents were brought on board to ensure sustainability. They were asked to contribute 6 kilograms of beans and 8 kilograms of maize each term. Uh, parental contribution and support uh, is very important to the school feeding program because it gives a sense of ownership. They do own the program. So that means that if any challenges come up, they will also come in and face it. So we will do this together. Thanks to the initial training, fertilizer and improved seeds provided by the Millennium Villages project. Parents contribute 70% of the food prepared at the school. Monica is a widow. Her husband died eight years ago and her six children all go to Nyaminia Primary School. Yani, Milena milipotupatia manyiwa. Shamba nyi likuwa sina shamba kubwa, lakini lipata kumagumi ya nne. Nesa nipopata maguni ya nne, nilichukua kama nusugunia, nikapendeka kwa shule, kwa feeding program. Zingine nikatumia. Feeding program ili nisaidia mana sasa watoto walikuwa wanaweza kukula kwa shule, na mi naweza kufanya kazi yangu bila kuwa na matatizo. Yani watarudi ni wapikie na mnaio. Because her children eat at the school, Monica has been able to increase her income by spending more time on her farm and at the market. The school also buys food from her and other mothers. Thanks to the variety of healthy farm produce available, children are happier and healthier. They receive a nutritious meal every day, including beans, maize and milk. Malnutrition and general illness has been greatly reduced. The children are now, okay, even their weight, they have put on weight properly. And the skin is now fit. There is no more for hospital going. They can stay here even for a whole month without being sick. Improved sanitation has also contributed to the children's health. 
Thanks to the hand washing facilities and the gender specific latrines built by the Millennium Villages project. Much of this success lies with the dedication of the head teacher, Millicent Obari. Millicent is devoted to helping parents and teachers maintain the school's progress. When I came in in 2007, the school feeding program was still almost wholly supported by Millennium Villages. But when they started pulling out, it became a big challenge because uh, sometimes due to climatic factors, the parents could not get good harvest and therefore they could not contribute. Millicent utilized vacant land around the school to cultivate additional crops. The Millennium Villages project stepped in to help, providing initial training, livestock and irrigation technology. Over time, the school offered students the opportunity to participate in the running of the school gardens as an extracurricular activity to broaden their skills outside of school hours. Duncan is president of the 4K club, which runs the school gardens. Our activities is to cultivate the farm, to plant trees in the forest, also to look the way the cows are eating and the goats. We also plant bananas and uh, after we have harvested, we sell them and get and income. For K Club volunteers also help in rearing poultry and run a small hair cutting business which earns them money to fund school projects. The education aspect of the children's involvement in the school's garden is a big plus, imparting farming and agribusiness skills, nutrition information as well as confidence to the students. Uh, today you go to the farm, you find that you, you do very little because we, do, uh, we go to the animals, they know how they should be fed, how they should be taken care of. These same practices, uh, they, they do them at home. So the fact that they are learning so much here and imparting the, the skills that they get here back at home, you see, it also gives us some kind of good relationship with the community and with the parents because they feel that we are bringing up an all-round child, not a child who is just academic-oriented. The school has opened a bank account to manage its growing income. As a result, students are offered the chance to learn accounting, record keeping and money management skills as an extracurricular activity. Teachers and students are now able to invest back into the school. Our computer lab was just a, a normal classroom. And so with the income that we generated from the 4K club and with the support of the Millennium Villages project, we were able to, to renovate the classroom into a computer lab. And then we called the technicians from Millennium Villages to come and see if the room was fit for computers. And uh, they approved. Actually, it's one of the best computer labs around. And uh, that way, we were the first school to get uh, 20 computers. Teachers have also benefited from additional training provided by the Millennium Villages project, working in partnership with the local government, a key stakeholder. For the teacher, our main focus was to build their capacity uh, in terms of curricular development, in terms of uh, training uh, the pupils and which kind of programs would be able to enhance the education of the children while also focusing on the skill. Millennium Village support has also boosted Nyaminia's capacity to care for its high proportion of needy and orphan students. The widespread prevalence of HIV and other diseases left many pupils without one or both parents. The school is now able to offer scholarships and boarding facilities to orphans who otherwise could not attend school. We have vulnerable children, we have total orphans, and uh, we realized that all these children need uh, to be supported, they need care. These children are the ones who came up with the idea of a boarding school. And what I like about them, they don't just bring a problem, they bring a problem with a possible solution. So they came up with a solution and they said, we should set up one of the classrooms to act as a dormitory. And I asked them, where shall we get the food? They said, but we grow food here. 
So we're going to use what we have. And I felt touched. And they told me, we've said it and we're doing it. So you see the logistics, see what to do about it. And it was a command and I had to obey. <laughs> and from the results, you see, we are now having a 100% pass because at least nobody has an excuse not to perform. The results speak for themselves. School attendance has almost doubled from 425 to 875 pupils, and their performance is going up dramatically. For the first time, we have a 100% pass in our national exams. We have them going to good national schools, and uh, because of their good performance, we also have other people from outside getting interested. So like last year, we had uh, four of our pupils getting sponsorship. With these results, it's hard to believe that only five years ago, most children in Saori were too hungry to concentrate in class. Results amongst girls have been particularly encouraging as they often face the biggest challenges in respect to receiving a good education. The Millennium Villages project has focused on empowering them. Before we could see very many girls, um, instead of uh, staying in school, would get married at a very tender age. But this has become a thing of the past because the level of competition in terms of the girls wanting to be as good as the boys and the fact that all the resources are available to them, we see most of them want to go through uh, and finish primary and secondary education. I do well and I achieve and in future I, want, I would like to become a nurse. And when my, my father died, I did not know that I would proceed with learning because we were left with mom, mom and we were too many. And so the way I'm in class eight, I, I really work hard. Nyaminia's example has the potential to transform the lives of thousands of poor students. The school's success shows how simple inexpensive education interventions can work and can be copied to great effect by other schools in rural Africa no matter how poor. Nyamninia Primary School is our model school. It has demonstrated that Millennium Development Goals can actually be achieved. And this has been possible through the activities that you have seen them performing, and they have done them with very, very minimal support from the project. Neighboring schools are following suit, and Nyamninia has received several awards. Nyamninia Primary School has demonstrated that through partnerships, uh, the pupils, the teachers, the government of Kenya through the Ministry of Education and the project, a lot has been achieved and the school itself continues to sustain these gains. The commitment of Nyamini school community is a leading example of what is possible. <laughs>